Okay, uh, it's Viridian Eastern BMX. I'm going to teach you how to fake eat, but before I start anything, just showing you how messed up my bars are. Yes, I know, they're messed up. Rips are, I mean, those grips are ripped, bars are bent. I'm buying dance comp parts this weekend. So, yeah. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do when you're learn, trying to uh, fake eat is that you're going to want to find a ramp, a small ramp. Uh, a little hill or bank, a wall, curb, step, whatever. Uh, something that you can push off on and go backwards. So what you want to do is just uh, pretty much go up to whatever you're going up to, like step or whatever. Push up against it and then push your weight off the back of the bike and like lean off the back. This way you'll go backwards. And once that's done, when after like three feet of going back, you should turn your front wheel a little bit and then uh, whatever way you feel more comfortable going that's the way you go uh, if you have brakes I'd say it's easy because you uh, when you're just turning your front wheel all you have to do is grab your brakes and then pretty much just lean whatever way you're going because uh, you'll just spin the rest of the way but if you don't have brakes you're gonna have to do the extra bit of work and uh, turn around and like when you're at the front wheel Pretty much just spin yourself around, like use your weight. Uh, when you learn, or when you're attempting the fakie, if like I said, you're gonna want to have brakes for when you're learning them, but you don't have to have them. It's your choice. But I would recommend I learned with brakes, even though I ride brakeless now. But um, I I think it's easier when you're going faster if you push off harder, so you go faster. Cause I think it's like. Just like if you're riding a bike, uh, when you're learning to ride a bike, uh, you'd rather go faster, it's easier to balance. But if you go slower, it's harder to balance. That's just what I think. When you get the fakie down, there's a lot of different like variations or ways uh, to get out of them. You have the normal fakie, like right there. You have the half cab. And uh, you also have the slide out. There's much more like full cab and stuff, I just didn't include that. Uh, I'm just going to do a little recap. Uh, what you want to do is pretty much find whatever you're going to push off of. Uh, when you're up against it or on it, at the peaker or against the wall, whatever, you want to compress against the wall and then push your weight off. And this will make you go back. And then you want to grab your brakes around 90 degrees or if you don't have brakes just uh, turn all the way around on it remember it's easier to go faster and do it instead of going slower and do it um, it's easier with brakes and harder well a little bit harder without them I forgot to mention that when you're uh, pedaling backwards or yeah, most people are going to be pedaling backwards when you're faking, unless you have a free coaster. But most people don't have them. So when you're pedaling backwards on a fakie, uh, just don't pedal like really fast, like as fast as you can. Like there's no point of doing that. Like if you go back and watch the clip I was doing, uh, I'm only pedaling back when I need to, when the pedal is pretty much forcing my leg back. That's all I'm pedaling back to. Some people pedal really fast, and that's just not worth it.